We're joined by Dr. Mark Klappholz, Chairman and Chief of Service, Department of Medicine, University Hospital, and Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School. Good to see you, Doctor. Thank you. Great to be here. Let's talk about um, the Healthy Heart Program at the University. What is it? Well, that's a new initiative at University Hospital in Newark to uh, provide uh, best of care and improve the outcomes of patients with chronic cardiovascular conditions. Let's talk about uh, heart failure. How serious is the problem in Newark and New Jersey and the country? Well, uh, heart failure is, a, is the number one uh, diagnosis in the Medicare population and in fact accounts for a lot of uh, morbidity and mortality that we see in the elderly population for sure. And interestingly, uh, it occurs with a greater degree of uh, incidence in the African-American community, which is a large population that we do have in Newark and in Essex County. What are you trying to do about it? Well, we're trying to bring the best of care that we can to the patient population in Newark and in Essex County, not just by uh, having uh, the physicians provide care, but by creating a multidisciplinary and interprofessional team that can really support the patients in achieving maximal care for their condition. Break that down a little bit. The, um, those phrases are hard sometimes for people to understand. The first one is a multidisciplinary. Disciplinary. Okay, describe that. So give us an example as to what that multidisciplinary team would look like and what impact it would have. So the team is comprised not just of physicians, but of nurses and nurse practitioners, of pharmacists and nutritionists, of uh, social workers and uh, case managers, of uh, patient navigators and health educators, all who work together as a team to try and help the patient navigate the complex uh, healthcare environment that they're in, understand about their medical condition, uh, access the care appropriately, and get the right medications which is very tough. Why would we think that that would have an impact on heart health? Well, we know that, in fact, uh, one of the major problems as patients have chronic conditions, for example, is getting the right medications, being compliant with the medications, understanding how to take them, what foods they can take them with, uh, what some of the interactions are between medications. Um, so having people that can speak to the patients, uh, patient educators, uh, pharmacists who can talk to the patients really does help improve what patients can do for themselves to improve their outcome. Doctor, I'm curious about this. Uh, a university hospital, what unique challenges do you feel you and your colleagues have in providing the best medical care for the particular population you're serving? I think that's a very important uh, question. I think that we serve uh, in large part an underserved population in uh, Newark, in the Define city of Newark. underserved. I think people that are socioeconomically challenged. We see issues of patients that can't make it to their appointments because they don't have money for transportation. A simple thing like that, if you can't get to see the physician, if you can't get to see the pharmacist or the, or the social worker, how are you, you going to really... That we take for granted, many of those. That's absolutely true. Absolutely so true. So what happens? So we try and, uh, and understand what the patient's uh, condition is, uh, what their home environment is like, what things they need to really make it work for them whether it be transportation costs, whether it be getting medications at a reduced cost uh, and making sure that they understand uh, uh, how to take them and that they are able to, uh, to do that. Curious, before I ask you about the Affordable Care Act, which is a question you know you have to be asked, right? <laughs> Why did you go into medicine? Well, I, I think that uh, to my view of it, and uh, certainly we might have some bias on that, I think it's a profession that really gives you the opportunity to help people uh, regardless of uh, uh, any uh, consideration and, uh, and uh, to improve their quality of life, uh, to improve uh, their long-term outcomes, and I think that's one of the great rewards of being in the field of medicine. Did you know early on? Uh, no, I didn't <laughs> actually. Uh, you I did. think it's, I really began to appreciate it once I, I was into the training of medicine when I was a medical resident, and I really began to appreciate what we were able to do for patients and for their families to allow someone to have a better quality of life, to live, to live longer, uh, uh, was really a remarkable uh, thing to be able to do for people, and that's when it really gelled for me. So a little bit later than some others, I would have to say. Let's move from the very personal to the public policy side of things. In the short period of time that the Affordable CARE Act has been law, so-called Obamacare. What changes, if any, have you seen in the population 
you and your colleagues are working with and for at university? Well, I have seen that patients have been able to get insurance now that they were not able to get previously. I You're think seeing that? We are absolutely seeing that at university hospitals. So all the naysayers, you don't see it playing out that way for your population? I do not. Uh, we see this uh, better access uh, to insurance, better access to health care, better opportunity for patients to be comfortable, not to be afraid about following up on their medical conditions, uh, getting the tests they need to have done, getting access to the medications they need to treat their chronic conditions. I think that it is uh, a very important, very useful, and I think in our population, been very, very helpful. Go back to the uh, heart program that uh, you and your colleagues are involved in, the Healthy Heart Program. What, if any, results have you seen in the population you're serving? By the way, the Healthy Heart Program, as you said, does a variety of things to help the population you serve. Any data, anything that we can point to to say, hey, there's some real progress here? Well, what we have shown so far to date, and this is something that's been in effect now for about two and a half uh, years, uh, we have uh, mobilized a team and have all the team members now uh, uh, involved and working in concert to be able to deliver care. We have enrolled over 250 patients in the program. Our target is 1,000 uh, patients that we have identified. It is a little early right now to really see uh, outcomes. Things we will be tracking include rehospitalization rates. So that's a big one. To so reducing rehospitalization rates. Absolutely. That's a big problem in these heart failure patients. They, they uh, decompensate because they um, don't know about the right foods they should eat, uh, too much salt, uh, simple things like that, or not able to get their medications. And have episodes of decompensation that result in rehospitalization, which is a, a, a bad medical thing to happen to them. So we'll be looking at that. We'll be looking at their functional capacity. We'll be looking at uh, de de depression scores to see how they feel about life when they're getting uh, this uh, more holistic approach to their care. You'll keep monitoring. Dr. Mark Klappholtz from uh, University Hospital and also the Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School. I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, extremely important health-related topics. Thank you so much. Thank you very we much. We learned. Appreciate it. That was good stuff. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence, and 13 for WNET, NJTV, and WHYY. Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by TD Bank, United Water, Qualcare Inc., Cone Resnick, Fedway Associates, the Ollendorf Center, and by Steve and Elaine Pozicki. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.